Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on several more channel. This is Alexander Sudorov, as always. And now we are doing some on-the-job work to accelerate the construction schedule. And in order to save investors money, among other things. So some of the work has to be done by team members. And therefore, today's webinar will be postponed to the next time. So don't judge us harshly. In this video we will try to show what we are so busy with. Finally lunch time, so we have a chance to take a break and socialize. Let's have a look. So we are now standing at the main entrance to the administrative and utilities building. And in our last video, I think that you noticed that the ground level was much lower. That is, now geotextile has been laid, backfilling with sand has also started, and all this space will also be leveled and prepared for asphalt laying in the same way as at the back of the building, where the ramp is located. I would also like to mention a very important point, one of the reasons why we have to work quite quickly. Because this heating main, which we have already demonstrated to you, where there are communications that need to bypass the neighbor's telephony, so there was something that happens during excavation works quite often. It turned out that the depth of these communications was somewhat greater than planned, and it was necessary to partially dismantle the already made subconcrete to go lower in order to be able to bypass those communications. But to date, all these works have been successfully completed. All the necessary joint schedules of works we're great with our neighbors. And now we are well on our way beyond our site to loop the heating network so that it will be possible to bring all this heat into the building. 
as I told you in the last video. And let's be brief today. Our cameraman will show you some beautiful footage. Unfortunately, the legislation does not allow us to get a bird's eye view from a quadcopter. But nevertheless, we will try to show you everything that is happening at the site. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your support. Subscribe to our social networks and keep up to date with all the events that are taking place in the life of the Solomash project and we'll get on with our work.